guys everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you are new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys today i'm in the honda showroom to show you the 2024 version of the cd400r let's go so i'm gonna start right here from the front so we have the signature windshield for a racer style bike and then you go down and you have your LED headlamps the LEDs are kinda recessed or hidden um, so it's gonna reflect off those reflectors in there that's really really nice and there's a cool sort of mesh plastic here to allow some air in and then you come down to your tires and if we go down we have your double brake discs with ABS on the other side. That's really cool. It comes with a 17 inch front wheel tire and you get your twin Nissan brake calipers, your reflector on the side and your sports suspension travel setup. You get your horn in there and a double exhaust, which is a twin and it got some nice plastic fairings. Um, to give it that race vibe and I like these decals that have been used really really nice decals combination of white shiny gray uh, yellow and black and you have your CBR 400R right there also as decals and then looking at the side has this nice fairings that make it look like a much bigger bike and then you have your 400 cc engine right here the engine block design looks very similar to all the cb range bikes not very different here and you have your brake paddle which is same as that on the other cbs as usual and you have a tiny ish foot peg for the rider's feet you have the same side where the brake has been mounted and then you have your exhaust which is as usual one outlet just like all of them are here in china and you have of course a single brake disc in the back you have a very nice solid brake disc with abs and the chain adjustment setup is just like all the the ones on all the cb400 range and on the rear we have a 17 17 inch tire size as well so front is 17 the rear is 17 for a sports bike you don't need anything more than that and you go to the rear the brake lights are just like that the turn signals are just like that of the 400 nx sibling that is situated right there the red one over there and uh, very similar design as that of the 500 nx 500 as well so you get the brake lights very the same brake lights as that on the 400 nx which i've already reviewed i'll link it up there so you can see so if you come to the left side of the bike you get your chain cover nothing new there you get your chain set up all looking very very similar to that of the senior sibling if not the same and we're just moving on to the side profile so you have your plastics around very nice plastics actually and you have your engine set up not very different from the cv range basically everything is almost the same as the older siblings but you have some air flow openings here so air comes from the front through the back which gives it makes it more aerodynamic and allows the bike to shoot ahead even faster let me continue from the back so you have the pillion seat which is not very wide and so if you have a pillion it can be for long journeys it's just going to be for short trips down the road and you also have this wind outlet here which is going to make it more aerodynamic if you look in there it goes all the way back which is really really nice and if we look up here we have the 
fuel cup which is really solid and what is new this year is you get traction control and you also have this uh, dial here for navigating left right top down and you get a horn just like the new horn design language so it's not it's no more that press button is now kind of like press it down to tilt to engage the horn I don't know how practic practical this is when you're riding with heavy gloves but yeah and you've got your traction control button here for setting your traction control levels you get your high beam lights and then push to pass light or what we can usually call the flashlight you get a clutch lever very soft just like all the CB range and you get a nice tactile turn signal it has really good feel to it so you're gonna know definitely when you have pushed the button you're gonna feel it in your hands and if you're at low speed you can hear it as well and on the right side strangely enough the 400 range in China has hazard lights but the 500 which I own doesn't come with hazard lights it beat my, beats my uh, understanding but yeah it is what it is you get your ignition button here overall start stop button overall very very um, similar to the previous ones you get your front brake here the grips have been maintained same design the positioning of their uh, ignition very similar basically the same uh, but I but it's the screen is different unfortunately there's no key in this one so I can't turn it on but I believe it's just the same as that of the new 500 range, 500 and 400 range of motorcycles with a new color TFT screen that shows all the traction control and all the other uh, systems. So yeah, that's basically the CBR 400R. Just a quick walk around video to show you what did, what is new on this bike. So basically it's just a, new traction control and uh, the changing of the switches that have been included and the TFT screen. Alright guys, that's all for the CBR400R. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to support the channel by subscribing to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching. So I see you in the next video guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace and I'm out.